Every year, approximately 1,500 people are diagnosed and treated for malaria in the United States. Rapid and accurate diagnosis of malaria is integral to the appropriate treatment of infected individuals. The gold standard for malaria diagnosis is microscopy. However, expert microscopy services may not be available 24-7 at all clinical facilities where persons who may be infected with malaria seek medical attention. Clinical laboratories that are not able to provide immediate malaria microscopy services should consider maintaining a supply of malaria rapid diagnostic tests, or RDTs, and learn how to use them properly. The only RDT approved for use in the United States is called Binax Now Malaria. This instructional video was created by CDC to provide guidance regarding the procedure and results interpretation. Binax Now Malaria Test is an in vitro immunochromatographic assay for the qualitative detection of plasmodium antigen circulating in human venous and capillary blood. The test was designed to diagnose persons with symptoms of malaria and targets the histidine-rich protein 2 or HRP2 antigen specific to plasmodium falciparum and a pan-malarial antigen common to P. falciparum as well as to plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovale, and plasmodium malari, which are the primary agents of malaria in humans. This test is intended to aid in the rapid diagnosis of human malaria infections. It is recommended that all RDT results, positive, negative, and uninterpretable, be confirmed by microscopy. If the test is positive, microscopy can be used to estimate the parasitemia and confirm the infecting plasmodium species. A positive RDT provides sufficient information to initiate treatment for malaria, which can be life-saving. The Binax Now Malaria Test should not be used to monitor malaria treatment because residual plasmodium antigen may be detected for several days following elimination of the infection by antimalarial treatment. The test is also not intended for screening asymptomatic populations. The Binax Now Malaria Test Kit is cleared by FDA for in vitro diagnostic use. Precautions. Leave the test device sealed in its foil pouch until just before use. Do not use the kit past the expiration date. Do not mix components from different kit lots. Samples and reagent A must be added as described in the test procedure to obtain optimal sample flow and test performance. To perform the test, you will need the following. The Binax Now Malaria Test Kit, which contains the test device and reagent A, a tris buffer containing detergent and sodium azide. The blood sample, collected by venipuncture in an EDTA tube, or collected directly from the patient via finger stick with a lancet and capillary tubes. A timer or stopwatch. A biohazard container and personal protective equipment. If you are using a venous blood specimen, slowly add 15 microliters of blood to the bottom half of the purple sample pad. If you are using a capillary blood specimen, slowly apply blood from the capillary tube to cover the entire purple sample pad on the right side of the device. Once the pad is saturated, discard the capillary tube into a biohazard sharps waste container. After you have added the blood to the test device, it's time to add reagent A. Holding the bottle vertically, add two free-falling drops to the white pad that is immediately below the purple pad. Allow the first drop to absorb into the pad before adding the second drop. Do not add reagent A to the purple pad. Next, allow the blood specimen to run the full length of the test strip. Do not allow the blood to run into or under the absorbent pad at the top of the strip, as doing so will hinder optimal washing of the test strip. Just before the blood specimen reaches the base of the white absorbent pad located at the top of the test strip, slowly add four free-falling drops of reagent A to the wash pad on the top left-hand side of the test device, allowing each drop to absorb into the pad before adding the next. 
Note that the third and fourth drops may not absorb into the pad. Next, remove the adhesive liner from the right edge and close the device. This allows Reagent A to wash or clear the blood from the test strip. To ensure good device closure and test flow, press very firmly along the entire edge to the right of the test window. Set the timer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, read the test result through the viewing window. When reading results, tilt the device to reduce glare if necessary. The control line, C, will appear on all valid tests. The appearance of any additional test line in the T1 or T2 row, or both, indicates a positive test, even if very faint. For example, a line in the T1 positive row only indicates the test is positive for P. falciparum. An indicator line in the T2 positive row only indicates a positive result for either P. vivax, P. malari, or P. ovale. A result showing lines in both T1 and T2 positive rows indicates either a positive result for P. falciparum or a possible mixed infection. If no T1 or T2 lines are visible, this indicates a negative result. If the background color hinders reading of the test result at 15 minutes, the test is uninterpretable and should be considered invalid. Invalid or uninterpretable tests can occur due to improper sample or reagent application. Consult the package insert or bench aid before testing with a new device. Call technical services at the number indicated on the insert if the problem persists. Remember that a negative test result does not necessarily exclude infection with malaria. Negative results may occur in cases with low-level parasitemia. The standard practice for diagnosis of malaria is to perform repeat blood smears every 12 to 24 hours for a total of three sets of smears. If all three sets of smears are negative, malaria infection is effectively ruled out. Assistance with malaria diagnosis can be found on the CDC website at www.dpd.cdc.gov dpdx or by emailing us at dpdx at cdc.gov. Healthcare providers needing assistance with diagnosis or management of suspected cases of malaria should call the CDC Malaria Hotline at 770-488-7788 or toll-free at 855-856-4713 Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. For emergency consultation after hours, call 770-488-7100 and ask to speak with a CDC malaria branch clinician. Malaria is a reportable disease. Healthcare providers should report all diagnosed cases to your state health department. Thank you for participating in this training and helping to ensure that persons in need of rapid and accurate malaria diagnostic testing in the U.S. can receive it.